weight loss might be that New Year resolution that is most difficult to achieve. And with all these fine foods commercials and brand marketing, this is understandable. Most of us would resort to special diets and different lifestyle changes, which aren't necessarily wrong. However, it's our execution of these plans that shape our futures and our bodies. Being obese and being overweight are closely related, but are not the same. But, as you would imagine, they cause the same social, emotional, and health challenges. We will take the time out to properly understand obesity and being overweight and some key principles in achieving the body you've always wanted. Here are some things to consider before moving on. Everything that we eat has calories, even the drinks and health snacks we consume. In order to lose weight, we have to make sure that the calories our bodies burn are less than the calories we consume. All our bodies are built differently and with different metabolic rates. So, two people, say Joe and Tim, can eat the same quantity of food each day, but only Joe becomes obese even if they both had the same activity level. So, with that said, let's go into five ways we can lose weight like the champion you are. One, only eat what your body needs. Eat until you're not hungry, not until you're full. Many of us have this subconscious desire to clear our plates. Some of us do this to make our partners feel appreciated. Others do it without knowing. Eating until the plate is clean might not be what's best for us in the long run, as it sets us up to consume more than our bodies need. So, next time, before you dive into dinner, remember, eat until you're not hungry, not until you're full. Two. Drink a glass of water before meals. Water is that one food that carries absolutely no calories. Drinking a glass before you delve into your main course will make a great difference in the long run. For one, it tricks our bodies into thinking we are full. Secondly, it curbs our appetites and by extension, reduces our calorie intake. As tasteless and pointless as water might seem to some of us, in the long run, it might prove to be your body's best friend. 3. Cut your plate size in half. It is said that an apple a day keeps the doctor away. However, an apple a day can actually be more than you need. How about saving half for tomorrow? One way of preventing ourselves from eating until we're full is to simply serve in a smaller dish or plate. It might not be a simple solution for those who hate leftovers, but remember that the health consequences of obesity will be way more expensive than a cup of rice. Better yet, in order to not waste the excess food you made, why not share it with a friend? Four. Don't eat and watch TV or Netflix. According to Dr. Susan Albers, when we watch TV and eat at the same time, the two activities become linked and we become uncomfortable doing one without the other. This can lead to poor dietary decisions as we sometimes fail to realize just how much we have ingested. But never fear. There are effective ways to disconnect these two behaviors. The first way, uncouple the two behaviors. If you need to have a snack while you watch TV, then move to a table. Paying attention to the food you eat reduces how much you consume. The second way, choose a healthy snack. 
have a fruit or salad instead of sugary snacks. The third way, set limits. Set limits on bedtime and on snack time. Have a set bedtime. Staying up too late throws off our appetite hormones and causes us to have cravings. If we set limits on how much we eat at snack time, we do ourselves a huge favor. The fourth way, do something else with your hands. Instead of holding the food or remote, knit or crochet or even squeeze a tension ball. This will reduce how much you use your hands for eating. The fifth way, watch with a friend. We tend to curb our behavior when others are around, perhaps in a bit to impress them. Inviting a friend over at TV time could help to curb our appetites. Five, eat out less. Dining out too often is as expensive as it is fattening. If you're really serious about losing weight through diet, then you have to understand that dining out sets you up for failure. Firstly, we always feel compelled to finish our expensive meal in a bid to not waste our money. We also tend to get larger quantities than our bodies actually need. Nothing is wrong with eating out. After all, there is always the option of packing up food for next day. Just be disciplined when you decide to eat out. If you want to learn more ways to improve your body and mind, please subscribe and click the thumbs up.